Welcome to Electro Online and now let's talk about things such as power and luminosity when it comes to stars and not only that in this video and the future videos coming up we're going to talk about power, luminosity, intensity, apparent magnitude, absolute magnitude, brightness and bolometric magnitude because those things get often mixed and very confused and I've seen on the internet that these terms are not always correctly defined so here we're going to try and clarify what these things mean and we're going to start out by talking about power and luminosity and in actuality power and luminosity are really exactly the same thing although the, the term power is mostly used in physics and luminosity when it comes to astronomy that's where it's usually used more often so power is by definition we use the letter p is simply the ratio of the amount of energy output per unit time and so the energy output is usually in joules and the time is usually in seconds so a joule per second is a watt we say w for watt or we use simply the terms watts and so the power output of something is how much energy something puts out is terms in terms of watts and so when we have the sun giving off the energy towards the earth and of course all of uh, the space around the sun we can say that the power of the sun so the power of the sun is equal to 3.9 times 10 to 26 watts that's how much energy the sun puts out that's how much so how many joules per second the sun emanates every single second and the sun emanates most of that power in in terms of visible light oh, and I'm missing a T right here visible light UV and infrared a large portion of the amount of energy coming from the sun is indeed invisible light but a significant portion also is in the infrared and in the UV so when we talk about the power output of the sun we talk about all the various energy uh, frequencies UV, visible light and infrared that the sun puts out now in astronomy rather than talk about the power of a star we tend to talk about the luminosity of a star and just because we use a different word luminosity it is also the energy per unit time exact like power energy per time and it's also expressed in terms of joules per second and of course joules per second is of course watts so the luminosity of stars is expressed in terms of watts how many joules per second they emanate and also they talk about all the various energy frequencies or energy wavelengths UV, visible light, infrared and some stars may even put out radiation even at higher frequencies but typically it's in these three frequency bands so we talk about the power we can also talk about the luminosity of the sun luminosity of the sun which is equal to 3.9 times 10 to the 26 watts and so you can see that it's really the exact same thing so astronomy talks about luminosity power uh, in physics we talk about power now it talks about how much energy an object puts out so how much energy do we receive on the earth well that depends upon how far it is between the sun and the earth the farther we go out for example the amount of light or, or energy received from the sun at Mars is much less than what we get in, at the, on the earth because it's farther away since it's spread over a large and larger area as the energy spreads out into space the farther you are the less of it that you will receive personally from that particular star in this case from the sun well that has to do with something different that has to do with the intensity of the energy that we receive and we'll talk about that in our next video here we just have to realize that power and luminosity in essence is exactly the same thing we use power in physics luminosity in astronomy and it's simply how much energy an object puts out per unit time how many watts that object puts out and so that's how we can tell the difference between those two terms now in the next video we're going to include the term intensity and see how that, things change, how, that, how that changes things and then we'll talk about the term brightness and once we have those terms, four terms figured out then you have a pretty good understanding about how stars emanate energy and what the terminology means so stay tuned if you're interested in this